this has got to be next. Drickus Duplessis versus Sean Strickland 2. The rematch has to be next for the middleweight title because Sean Strickland's a clear number one contender. He's currently number one in the rankings. Drickus is now the champ and he just defended his title against, uh, against Adesanya. Jesus Christ, I'm tired today. Um, how did I almost forget that? He had an amazing win against Israel Asanya, finishing him in the, fir- in the fourth round. This is an early prediction and breakdown for the potential, and it's going to happen. It's confirmed by Daniel White and everything, so unless, it's some- unless someone gets injured, if Strickland gets injured, he's already, like, unless some stupid shit happens, this is like 99.9% chance of this happening next. In December or January. And um, I was going to make a fight to make next, but it, I just, it was too much of a hassle. I'm just going to do the sweet early prediction breakdown video instead. And uh, I had it ready and stuff. Like, I was literally about to post it, but then I deleted it accidentally. And I couldn't record. I don't want to record it again. So I did it twice. But this is next. This is next. And I'm going to make an early prediction and breakdown for who wins this fight and how. When's it going to happen? I'll mention that towards the end, but... I just want to do an early prediction and breakdown for this, because some people are saying Drickus isn't champ still, which I, I knew what would happen. I knew it. I knew it the exact moment Drickus got his hand raised against Strickland. I knew that or right when Drickus, no, not that moment, when Drickus versus Izzy was signed and official and announced. I knew if Drickus beat Izzy, yeah, people are still not going to call him the real champ. So you need to do this. Not just because you see, not just because we want it, and the fans want it, and I do obviously want to see this. But you gotta, you gotta announce the middleweight champion of the world. Now I do believe Drickus Duplessis would beat Sean Strickland. I think he would, in a rematch. I think he'd probably get a, like a late round submission over Sean Strickland as well. But it's close. And I was thinking, you know what, Drickus smashes him easily. But then I rethought, you know what. I rewatched Drickus Izzy again. Man. Drickus Duplessis. He looked. He got the win. He beat Izzy fair and square. It wasn't a fluke. But it looked like Izzy just kind of just gave in a bit. And Drickus' pressure and his timing kind of threw off Izzy a bit, causing Izzy to be at a pace where he's never been. That's what Drickus does to these guys. But Strickland obviously has heart and more heart than his Alessania. And won't go out more easy as Izzy. So he actually took it to a decision with Drickus. So this is competitive. I just think Drickus is unbeatable at the moment right now. I don't think... I think this... I think he beats Sean Strickland. And I think he beats Shemaya. I think he beats Whitaker. I think Whitaker and Strickland are, are, are difficult ones. I think Shemaya is just a bit easier. I think Izzy's his most hardest. So he got past Izzy. So now it's just going to go on to, okay, I don't really have to worry about much power now, other than maybe Hamza. That's it. And he's shit at striking. He's shit at striking. I had to wor- he had to worry about Izzy's striking techniques and Izzy's technicality in the striking plus the power. So obviously, Drickus didn't look the best against Izzy, but he got the win. Landed good shots on Izzy. And the thing is with Drickus here, I think he beat Sean Strickland. I think he has more on his side. He's been more active as of late. Especially when they make this fight. If they make this fight the sooner, the better it is for Drickus. I think... Or is it? If they make this fight in December, it's better for Drickus. Um, but this is a very close fight. And I don't want people counting out Sean Strickland. When Strickland doesn't have any pressure on him... He's fucking amazing, and I've noticed that now. Um, against Costa, I thought he looked great, but he looked kind of mid against Costa. Like, yeah, he won every single round, five rounds to nothing. 5-0 on Paulo Costa. He didn't look great. He didn't really take much risks until the very end of the fight. But against Brendan Allen, where at the time wasn't big, a huge name, so that's not really a big example. He was kind of like a prelim guy then. Um, but against Izzy himself, Ah, fuck it. I'm probably going to lose. Or I'm a huge underdog. If I lose, it happens. This is Ra'ala I'm just going to play my style and 
walk this guy down and try to fight him. And he had nothing to lose against Izzy. I think here he might not have much to lose either, which, is, which, which makes this a very, very close fight, in my opinion. And um, to be honest with you, if Strickland gets disrespected in the odds in this fight, I might pick him because it's that close, I think. Because Strickland, he's very good when he has nothing to lose. You know, against Strickland in their first fight, it, there was pressure on Strickland because he said a bunch of stuff about, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but about Canadian stuff. I'm not going to get into it, but there was a lot of pressure on Strickland. Same with Drickus. But if it comes to their rematch in this fight, there's going to be more pressure on Drickus. But will there be, though? Because he beat Izzy, just throwing that fan base down. So all he, But he's going to have that robbery shit. And it's just he's ha- he has to make it more clear this time. It's where Strickland... Strickland just has to win. Trickus needs to win, but make it clear. Because he doesn't want to have that robbery talk again. So this makes this a very close fight. I just think Drickus is more improving. I think he is. And I think Drickus, sometimes he makes bad habits rushing in. But he doesn't have to worry about Strickland's power. So that's completely out of the conversation. He can fight wherever he likes now. He can push Strickland backwards. He just needs to worry about, you know, cuts and school and shit. I think in this fight. And I think Sean Strickland has to worry about the power of Strickus. Strickus has a decent chin. He can take shots. I think we kind of should know that now. He's tough. He can take body shots off Izzy. Hard body shots. And he's tough and he moves forward. I think Strickland won't pressure back at Drickus. I think Drickus got... Yes, he did, he did get pressured back by Izzy. I completely understand that. And Sean pressured Izzy. But I think Drickus really, really respected the power of Israel Adesanya in that fight. Really, really re- uh, respected the power of Israel Adesanya in that fight. And um, I think that he won't really... He knows Strickland has nothing. Nothing, Strickland. Like, he just has... Basically, blades at the end of his he- of his gloves. Some sharp blades, just out poking out his glove. That can get you sometimes. You know. So that's how, that's why I think Shrikus needs to worry about is like swollen shit and just head movement. Cause all Sean has is that jab and a teep. I don't. I think Shrikus would win, but Sean Strickland is good, and don't count him out. He's good. He's good. He went to a split decision with Drickus last time. Very close fight. I actually don't even know who won. I said it was Strickland. I said it was Drickus. I don't know. It comes down to that second round, in my opinion. And, um... Third round was close as well. But I think Drickus won the third. But it comes down to that round. It comes down to that second round, in my opinion. And, um... I think the more you know Drickus' style, he'll kind of switch it up a bit. Is what Sean Strickland. I just don't think he's going to switch it up. I don't. I don't think. I think he'll just keep the Philly shell. Keep doing what he's doing. Maybe add an extra kick in his game. Maybe add more inside leg kicks and calf kicks. And maybe a bit more head kicks out there. But Drickus will switch angles. He'll switch to like maybe more kick heavy in this fight. More... Boxing heavy in this fight, more takedown heavy in this fight. So Strickland's going to do the same shit again and again and again. And again. So I think Drickus would win. I think he would get a finish on Sean Strickland this time. Because Strickus, the thing with him is he gets finishes. He finished Israel Adesanya. No one's done that other than Pereira in the UFC. And he subbed him. First to subbed him. So I think he'd be the first to submit Sean Strickland as well. I think he would. I think he'd neck crank Sean Strickland and make him tap. Drickus is really good at getting the back. And I think he would outgrapple Strickland again. I think last time that was just strength based. So I think Strickland would have to pack up some muscle in this if in this fight for to for him to not get not let that happen. I know Strickland got right back up her away. But it doesn't matter. Drickus is kinda like Charles Oliveira in that sense, but not obviously he's not got the BJJ credentials. And the trophies of Charles Oliveira. 
But you know what I'm saying. He's got that. Oh, you're leaving your back open? I'm getting that back. You know? And he can tag you up on the feet as well. The more I speak about it, the more I think Drickus would win. But Strickland's still good. And you have to give him... You can't just count him out here and say Drickus wins. <coughs> Drickus wins easy. Easily. So that's my voice there almost. Um, but Drickus... You can't just say Drickus would just win easily. I, th- I said that right after the Izzy fight. Like, oh, he'll destroy Strickland. Even my recap video, but... More I think about it, Strickland does have a good chance. Um, if he throws the right hand out there more, it could get, it affect Drickus. But Drickus can do the same thing to him. And I think if he gets Strickland to the ground, he won't. He'll grapple with Strickland a bit more. I think in this fight. I think because Drickus can push a pace. He was slowing down against Izzy, but he still pushed through and finished him. And it broke, it kind of broke Izzy. Izzy wasn't gassed out, I'm not saying that, but it kind of like, it was kind of like, oh shit. This guy's really putting on me right now. And he did that to Strickland in the first fight. So, I think Drickus would win. I think he would. I think it's just like a 60-40% fight towards Strickus Duplessis. And I just think on the feet, Strickland has the jab. Um, I completely understand Strickland does have the jab. But, um, I think Trickus has, like, you know, the body kicks. He can comfortably run in with a one-two to the body. And Strickland can't do shit about it. He can't land back, because what if he risks land, like, leaving his chin open? I just think Strickland's going to have a lot to worry here. But if he comes in thinking, you know what, if I lose, I lose. Who cares? If I win, I win. It's awesome. And just have that mindset of, Coming in and destroying, he could actually win this fight. But as far as I know, the cost of performance, like, beat Costa, finish him at this point. Finish him at this point, man. Like, seriously, like, I know Strickland's not the type to finish people, but Costa is so bad. I get Whitaker didn't do it either, though. So actually, yeah, I am piling a bit more on. I'm not actually going after Strickland for nothing there, but still. You know, it wasn't, it was barely nothing. Like, he just outlanded cost each and every round. That wasn't a great performance from Sean Strickland. You know, it wasn't that. It was just, it wasn't a great performance from Strickland. So, is that enough to make me pick him against Strickus? Like, yes, he has a good chance. Yes, Strickland's high level. Um, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. So... And I, I, I wish Strickland was a bit more active, because I think that would help him here. But by the time these guys fight, it'll be about... What? What? Well, he fought in... Good thing he fought in May. He fought in June. June 1st, against Paul Acosta. So it'll be... August, September... December... Six to seven months out for Sean Strickland. That's like a long time for him. For Drickus, it would only be December. So that'd be only four to five months for Drickus out. He didn't take much damage against his head either. He only got a cut on the, on the head. And some sort of some scratches here and there. So yeah, I think Drickus would win. More ways to win. I think he can hang in the cardio department with Strickland. I think he can invest better than Sean Strickland. Yeah, I think he can do that a lot better. I think he got more power than Strickland. I think they both got similar chins, but I think Strickland's won. Strickland has been KO'd before, I get it, but he's massively improved. I think he can get it done. He can land head kicks on Strickland comfortably. I think Strickland would win, but it's close. You don't count out Sean Strickland. He can always shock you. And, um... Yeah, I think Drickus would win with a finish late in the fight. I don't think Strickland would win. I don't think he would. I don't think he'd win. I think, I think, I just think Strickland, first fight, I think Drickus, you know, didn't really know what Strickland was going to do. Like, yeah, he knew Strickland had the same Philly show, but he didn't know. Like, Strickland dropped his, he didn't know how much power you'd have. 
So Drake just kind of was like, okay, I'm going to do what I do in the first fight. Oh, shit, he doesn't have much power in his hands. I think he'll now know what Strickland has. I think Drickus would obliterate Costa in the first two rounds if they fought. And I think Drickus got the takedown option. I just don't think Strickland will beat him. Even Strickland in that fight, you know, tried taking down, and late in that, for like the third or fourth round, tried taking down Drickus. Drickus outmuscled him, took him down for a trip. Like, I think Drickus would win this. I think he'd get the back of Sean. And uh, I think he'd sub him with a neck crank in round four or five and retain the title. So I think Drickus would win. Um, but this should be next. Should be next round December. I heard December's going to be Team Mobile Arena. So, And Drickus was promised if he beat Izzy, he would... Um, what's it called? He... Um, He'd, he'd be in South. They do an event in South Africa. So Strickland, if you want the shot, get your ass in South Africa. If you say no, go fuck yourself. You get in Chimaev the shot or Whitaker. I think Whitaker gets the win there against Chimaev. So one of them, whoever wins. So yeah, I think Drakus would win. Plus, motivation levels. I know Strickland's now kind of looking towards this, and he's now taking his career a little bit more seriously. But Drakus wants to title more. He wants to add to his legacy. He wants the defenses. Strickland, it's like, I have the belt. I have the belt. I have the defenses. I have the defenses. Where Drickus, I think, would work a lot more harder to improve on himself. I think Strickland's just sparring in the gym every day. Just spar, spar, spar. And he does the same shit, so. I think Drickus would figure him out. I think he'd figure him out a little bit more easier and get the job done. So, yeah, I'd go Drickus. Combos will work more. I think he'd, I think he'd get it done. I think the first fight, would, I think this would be, I think this will be similar to the first fight. Except a little bit more takedowns in there for Drickus. And, um, yeah, I think he'd, I think he'd be close. Like, I think it'll be like 2-2 two, two, or like, or, yeah, like 2-1 someone either way. I think it will be close again, but I think Drickus for this time. We'll cut out the fucking hate and get the finish this time on Strickland. Who taps from strength based a uh, strength based sub. Or Drickus taps him out with a rear naked choke, so I'll go Drickus. Yeah, I think Strickland just tries once he won the belt, I don't think he really cares much anymore. We'll see. Strickland's gonna get a shot, good for him. But he ain't winning the belt back, I don't think. Drickus gets it done. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Two plus he would win my fourth or fifth round, maybe even late third, rear naked choke. Peace.